During the sentencing hearing, Branch Davidian Catherine Schroeder made an emotional plea to the court, saying she was sorry for ever being a part of such a loss of life. I, I do feel for everything that happened, not just, you know, the four agents that died, but for everybody that suffered in trauma in this. I mean, the whole town of Waco suffered from this. And I do feel and care about those people. After her plea, Judge Walter Smith sentenced Schroeder to three years in prison, three years supervised probation, and a $5,000 fine. This is more or less what I was hoping for. I mean, it's like, what, three years? And I've served one? I got two years left? I can handle that. I can handle it a lot better than I can six or seven. I mean, my four-year-old would be ten if it was six years. Schroeder's attorney had asked the court to only rule on activities that took place after the February 28th raid at Mount Carmel. But the judge overruled the objections, saying it was already determined that Schroeder was part of the conspiracy and involved in the firefight during the raid. I was emotional before I ever got up there because of the way his rulings were coming down. He was scaring me. Prosecutor Ray Hahn was satisfied with the court's decision. The whole thing to be learned here is the place to resolve disputes with law enforcement is in the courtroom and not at the barrel of a gun. Catherine Schroeder's future in federal prison is certain after today's sentence, but her faith in cult leader David Koresh is left uncertain. David's gone. I'm going to live my life, you know, taking care of my kids, whether he's gone and going to come back, like he said, or whether he was a total fake. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to live my life the best I can to take care of my kids. You know? So that's just stuff I have to work out within myself. Thank you. Olivia Fernandez, Newswatch 6, Waco.